Hello, and welcome to PikaPods. In today's video, I will explain what domains are, why you should use custom domains, and how you can set up custom domains with PikaPods open source apps. If you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel to avoid missing out on educational open source content. We will have more tutorials coming up regularly. With that said, let's jump right in. What are domains? Domains are integral to the internet and serve as human-readable addresses for websites. They are the main part of the domain name system, DNS, like a phone book for the internet. When you type a domain name into your web browser's address bar, the DNS translates that domain name into an IP address, the actual numerical address used to locate the web server hosting the website or service you're trying to access. Nike.com and Google.com are domains. .com is the most familiar domain extension, but you can use different extensions such as .net, .io, .ai, .org, etc. You can have your name and last name as your domain name. Your company name can be your domain name. Custom domains are better than some random domains. Why? Because with custom domains, you can achieve brand identity. Using a custom domain allows you to create a strong, memorable online presence. You also gain credibility. Your website appears more professional and trustworthy compared to free subdomains provided by hosting services. There are numerous companies from which you can buy a domain name. It's your personal choice which domain hosting company you will pick. For this demo, I'll use Namecheap. Here you can see my Namecheap account. It already has a domain in it, which I bought earlier. Let's now move on to setting up your custom domain with PikaPods. PikaPods is an open source app hosting company. It has a simple interface to manage all your open source apps. They manage all configurations, databases, and other details in the background for you. PikaPods lets you set your own custom domain for all your apps. I already have a pod with a new ghost blog set up here. You can see that your app now has a default domain name ending in pikapod.net. This is not our own domain. Let's change that and use the domain we purchased before. In your pods library, open pod settings and click on the domain tab. Then you should enable a custom domain and copy this pod subdomain. To use your domain, Add a CNAME record on Namecheap and set your pod's pikapod.net domain as a target. Once you set everything up, you can run your pod under your brand new custom domain. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe so you do not miss out on future content. Or send this video to a friend who needs a custom domain. Now that you got this far into the video, if you register on our website using the link below, you will get a free $5 starting credit to use these amazing apps. Until next time, take care.